Welcome back to New York Stars. I'm Whitney Van Lanningham, and after hearing reports about Marvel's upcoming Disney Plus series, Vision Quest, I think we're getting another supergroup introduced into the MCU, the West Coast Avengers. Are the Avengers finally setting up shop in my home state of California? Because listen, heroes, I have a sick air mattress, and y'all can totally come crash at my place. But who will actually show up in the series? If the West Coast Avengers do show up, will we be seeing their 80s roster or the more modern one, or a hybrid of the two? Today, I'm breaking down everything you need to know about the WCA and how Vision Quest can introduce these Avengers. Ever since Hawkeye dropped last year in 2021, we here in New Rockstars have been waiting very patiently for the WCA to finally show up. And by patiently, I mean that we've all been freaking out about it for approximately 12 months. Oh my god, dude, I'm freaking out. I am so stressed out. I feel like I'm having a panic attack. Especially now that we've seen an entire series take place in Los Angeles with She-Hulk. But before we dive into these series about who might join the lineup in Phase 5 or beyond, let's talk about the WCA's comic history. Back in 1984, Roger Stern and Bob Hall created the West Coast Avengers number one to follow the exploits of the superhero team in California. Hilariously, Hawkeye builds a compound in California for everyone to inhabit because even in the 80s, rent prices were too damn high. Can't have your heroes renting separate apartments. That's more of a friend's New York scenario. Even funnier, Mockingbird outs him for attempting to buy Knott's Berry Farm for their group. Damn, y'all. And to think the Avengers campus could have been built at Knott's instead of Disney for half the ticket price. Vision calls the West Coast Avengers to assemble, due to the fact that there are simply too many Avengers and Avenger-adjacent heroes to fit in the New York lineup. After Captain America declared that only six people can make up the Avengers at any given time, Vision builds a team that can handle any misdeeds west of the Rocky Mountains. The group initially includes team leader Hawkeye, his wife Mockingbird, James Rhodes under the Iron Man moniker, Tigra, Wonder Man, and of course, Viz. Like their New York counterparts, the roster of the WCA has seen many rotations over their run, including Tony Stark, US Agent, Moon Knight, and the original Human Torch. During Vision Quest's namesake arc, the WCA was made up of Hawkeye, the Scarlet Witch, Vision, Wonder Man, Tigra, and the Wasp. They also had retired Ant-Man Hank Pym as their resident scientist. That Vision Quest arc spanned West Coast Avengers issues 42 through 45 and culminated in the reveal of White Vision. The arc begins with Wanda waking up to find that Vision has disappeared, seemingly out of nowhere. After the compound is attacked by a fake Ultron robot, Mockingbird returns to the team after her split with Hawkeye to reveal that she was conned into helping a spy organization kidnap Vision and infect their database with a virus that would delete all backups of his data from their system. Although the Scarlet Witch and Mockingbird race to save him, the two find him in pieces, similar to what we saw in WandaVision. It turns out that a global operation run by the CIA, MI7, the KGB, and other intelligence agencies was tasked with eliminating Vision after he tapped into high security computer systems across the world in Avengers number 253. This group, known as Vigilance, posed as shields so that they could completely wipe Vision's data from every database on the planet. Planet. AKA, they've erased all of his memories. And even though Hank Pym puts him back together physically as the White Vision, his soul is lost in the process. Although we've already seen Vision's body taken apart and Wanda's Hex Vision restore parts of White Vision's memory in the MCU, I do think that the comics Vision Quest storyline will lead into what the MCU does next with Vision. After all, we still have White Vision pondering the ship of Theseus wherever he is, and he does have all of regular Vision's memories inside of him. Obviously, with Paul Bettany returning as a lead, plenty of Vision Quest will be a journey of self-discovery, but the comic's Vision Quest was named more so after the West Coast Avengers searching for Vision. So, like the upcoming MCU series title suggests, I believe that we might see the seeds of the WCA assembled in the B-plot quest to find the missing Vision. But with such a large lineup of potential West Coast Avenger members, which ones would make the most sense for tracking down Vision in this phase of the MCU? I stare at screens all day, and that can be tough on my eyes. It used to be the case that I'd help my eyes out by wearing a pair of Blue Blocks blue light glasses, but Blue Box has become Come bond charge. Thankfully, the glasses have stayed the same. Got my little glasses in my little case, and now I'm gonna put them on my little face. Whoa! Bond Charge has a couple of different glasses depending on what you need. My go-to are the computer glasses. They help reduce sore eyes, headaches, watery eyes, and fatigue. If I'm staring at a computer all day or I'm in a room with fluorescent lights, these glasses are my first line of defense. Bond Charge's glasses are backed by science and tested to make sure they work, which is not the case with other light blocking glasses on the market. If you've got a prescription, you can get these with a prescription. If you don't, you can get them without a prescription. Just need a pair of light blocking reading glasses? Bond Charge 
charge can handle that too. Bond Charge ships worldwide and have other great products like low blue light bulbs, red light therapy devices, and 100% light blocking sleep masks. Go to bondcharge.com slash new rockstars and use coupon code new rockstars to save 20%. That's B-O-N-C-H-A-R-G-E dot com slash new rockstars and use coupon code new rockstars to save 20%. Well, let's start with the Hawkeyes. Both Clint and Kate have been premier leaders of the WCA, with Barton leading the team in the 80s and Bishop in the 2018 revival. Barton would be the perfect shield agent for the job in a race to hunt down Vision if global agencies follow in Hayward's footsteps and try to recover Vision's tech and weaponry for their own schemes. Bishop has a habit of tagging along against Barton's wishes, but I could also see her learning international espionage on the job with her mentor. Since we have both Hawkeyes active and much of the MCU is bending 80s plots with the aughts and beyond, I actually think that we'll end up with a cool hybrid WCA team. Tiger is next on my short list because back in Hawkeye episode one, there was a character who shared her ultimate her ego's unique first name. Kate's classmate and accomplice in her school bell tragedy was named Greer. In the comics, Greer Grant Nelson is Tigra's civilian name. Tigra is one of the WCA's core members, and even though she was part of the original team, I could see the MCU aging her down. Then we have the puzzle of Mockingbird. While we did see Bobby Morse's Mockingbird back in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., the MCU's timeline and incorporation of this TV series canon isn't super consistent. However, in the Hawkeye series, it was hinted that Clint's wife, Laura, also used the codename Mockingbird during her stint at S.H.I.E.L.D. Many fans speculated that she may rejoin the world of Herodom in upcoming on-screen adventures. Of the two, I actually want Bobby Morse's Mockingbird more, despite Laura's ties to Hawkeye. Feige's been slowly rolling out the recanonization of other Marvel properties, and Adrian Palicki's Mockingbird kicked major ass. Palicki is probably pretty busy on Disney's other series, The Orville, so I don't have my hopes up too high. We also know that another found WCA member Wonder Man will be getting his own series on Disney Plus. Eh. <laughs> Disney Plus. With Yaya Abdul Mateen II cast in the titular role. Wonder Man is known for being a big Hollywood stuntman, so he'll likely be in the right area to join the team. He's also intrinsically tied to Vision in the comics. Simon Williams agrees to be the test subject of Zemo's ionic ray treatment, which promises to give him superpowers like super strength, speed, stamina, invulnerability, senses, regenerative healing, and even immortality. He can also teleport, shapeshift, and manipulate energy with his new powers. However, these powers came with a price. In order to keep him as a member, member of the Masters of Evil, Zemo also created a weakness in his metabolic system that would kill him in a week without the secret antidote. He refused to betray the Avengers, however, and without the antidote, fell into a coma. His brain patterns were recorded and later used to build Vision. With this comic-based link to Vision, my theory is that we'll see him in Vision Quest, as well as in his own series. Although the MCU may simplify his role, he played a major part of Vision's history in the comics. Perhaps he's still somehow a blueprint for Vision's consciousness, and therefore would be a great ally to help White Vision make sense of himself. Maybe they even just become bros and Vision relearns what it means to be human through the guidance of his actor pal. Speaking of heroes in the LA area, we've also got She-Hulk lawyering out there. While She-Hulk has never been an official West Coast Avenger, she has teamed up with them multiple times, and all good Avengers teams need a Hulk. One or a few of these heroes are likely to be cameos or side characters in Vision Quest that can set up a future WCA. But what about WCA members for the MCU outside of Vision Quest? I could also potentially see Kamala Khan joining the West Coast Avengers roster down the line, as she's part of the Kate Bishop team. As for the other newbie West Coast Avengers from Kate Bishop's comic crew, we've got America Chavez, who we met in Multiverse of Madness, and Gwenpool. Although America Chavez is currently a student of the Mystic Arts at Comertage, we've seen Wong take a vacation or two outside their compound. Who's to say that the girl who used to jump from multiverse to multiverse using her star portals won't be able to sneak out of there the next time Wong goes to Los Angeles after freeing Abomination. If you love MT as much as I do, you probably already watched his theory video on why he thinks Gwenpool is coming to the MCU. And I gotta say, I agree with him. Her backstory goes like this. A little baby comic book nerd achieves all of her wildest fantasies when she finds herself as an actual hero in Marvel Comics. If her storyline were to carry over to the MCU, her arrival could, like a lot of other catastrophic events, be a result of the fractured multiverse and the divergent timelines established in Phase 4. And now that Deadpool himself is officially a Disney princess, aka part of the MCU instead of just the Foxverse, it's not far-fetched to think that Gwenpool could show up too. I love the idea that she could crawl out of the thumbnail after She-Hulk in order to enter the MCU. Regardless of who exactly ends up appearing on the West Coast Avengers lineup, I know one thing to be true. I am taking all of them to the In-N-Out Burger right by LAX as soon as they get off the plane. But I want to know who you guys think could show up in the WCA in the comments. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Whitney Puppy. Follow New Rockstars. Subscribe to New Rockstars for more analysis of everything you love. And thanks for watching. Bye.